Hello everyone, how are you? Are you fine? Are you happy to learn? Today's lesson, how to describe the bar chart or bar graph. Unit 7, description of a bar chart or bar graph. Let's see, first of all, what is a graph or chart? Do you know what is a graph? It is a visual indication of data. What are the types of a graph? Do you know how many types of a graph have you studied? There are many types of graph in your activities. You can see a bar graph, B line chart, C pie chart, D table, E Venn diagram. You know this bar chart. You always see in the past question papers. Line chart you can see in the past papers. Pie chart also you can see in the past papers. Table also you can see in the past question papers. Venn diagram you studied in maths class. Okay. Shall we move into the next list? What are the parts of a bar chart? What are the parts of a bar chart? In my video lesson, there are, I focused on how to describe the bar chart. There are two lines in the bar chart. I hope you know, you will know how to draw a simple bar chart. This one is an x axis, this one is a y axis. Y axis is called as a vertical axis. X axis called as a horizontal axis. We can use the numbers, percentages, frequencies, in the X, Y axis. In the X axis, we can use food items, hobbies, subjects, and so on. Next, what do you see in the bar graph? When you are describing the bar chart, you have to describe the main information. The main information means you have to give the introduction in the first paragraph. Then you have to make the comparison or contrast. You can use the superlative or comparative form to describe the bar chart. After that you have to make the conclusion. Report any main feature or trend or patterns. When you are describing the bar chart, you have to use the key phrases and vocabulary for the introduction. We can start like this. Be, be this bar graph shows, this bar graph is about, this is a graph about. We can use the phrases like this. According to the graph, we can see, we can also use the sentence like this. Step 2, how to write a main trend. We can use the phrase overall in general. We can use the key phrases. We can see from the chart, it is clearly evident that, it is clear that according to the bar chart, we can use the key phrases to describe the bar chart. Step 3, we have to give the detailed description. We have to use the superlative and comparative form. Superlative form, when we use the superlative form, when compare more than two things. We, for example, we use the highest, low, the lowest, the least. When uh, use the comparative form, when comparing two things, we can use is higher than, is lower than, is greater than. We can use these examples. When we uh, describing the bar chart, we can find, when we find out the differences, we can use the words in contrast. 
differ from or differs from. We, when we find out the similarities, we can use the word both are alike, similarly or similar. Let's see the question. This is the question uh, number 14 for the GEC O level English language paper. Let's read the question. The following bar graph shows the results of survey conducted among the 100 grade 11 students in their school about the choice of the subjects for advanced level streams. Study the chart and write a description about their choices. The following words will help you. Most, more, least, equal, less, higher, lower. You have to include these points to describe the bar chart. First of all, we come to how we have to pay attention towards the introduction, detailed description and conclusion. There are three paragraphs you have to write to describe the graph. This bar graph shows the choice of subjects in a school. Start like this. This bar graph shows the choice of subjects in a school. Then we have to explain the vertical axis and horizontal axis. The vertical axis shows the number of students. The horizontal axis shows the choice of the subjects. The choice of the subjects are biology, maths, ICT, art, accounting and music. Then we go to the detailed description about the bar graph. I would like to ask some question from you. How many students like to study biology? Can you tell the answer? It is 30 students. We can say like that. The most students like to study biology. How many students like to study music? Can you tell the answer? It is 10 students. The least of the students like to study music. When comparing, we can use the superlative form and comparative form. You have already studied. When comparing biology and maths, which is higher? Biology is higher. We can write this. The number of students who like to study biology is higher than maths. When comparing the subjects like maths and ICT, which is more? Maths is more. The number of students who like to study maths is more than the number of students who like to study ICT. Equal number of students like to study. Equal number. Equal number of students like to study ICT and accounting, which is 12 students. When comparing the subjects like accounting and music, which is lower, music is lower. The number of students who like to study music is lower than the number of students who like to study accounting. We come to the conclusion. According to the bar chart, we come to the conclusion, the highest number of students like to study biology. Okay? Have you understood? Now, we are going to match A with B. We have to read the sentence in, the, in column A. Then B, column B. Then only you have to match A with B. The most of the students like to study you can answer the question based on the graph. The most of the students like to study which subject? Biology. 
the least of the students like to study which subject least of the students music equal number of students like to study ICT and accounting how many students like to study accounting 12 students when comparing the subject art and ICT which is higher when comparing the art and ICT look at the chart art and ICT which is higher art is higher shall we join the sentences the most of the students like to study biology the least of the students like to study music equal number of students like to study ICT and accounting how many students like to study accounting can you tell 12 students when comparing the subject art and ICT which is higher art is higher am I correct ok let's move let's see the question let's read it the graph description given below is not in order reorder the graph description first let's read first according to the bar chart we come to the conclusion the highest number of students like to study biology number two horizontal axis shows the subjects vertical axis shows the number of students most of the students like to study biology while the least of the students like to study music number four the bar graph shows the choice of the subjects of grade 11 students in a school number five number of students who like to study biology is more than the number of students who like to study maths look at the bar chart and you have to reorder them can you tell you have already know first one introduction comes first then detailed description finally we come to the conclusion can you find out the introduction the bar graph shows the choice of the subjects of grade 11 students in a school that is an introduction then horizontal axis shows the number of subjects vertical axis shows the number of students number two then we come to the detailed description the most of the students like to study biology while the least of the students like to study music this come to the detailed description the number of students who like to study biology is more than the number of students who like to study maths it, it also comes to the detailed description number four finally we come to the conclusion according to the bar chart we come to the conclusion the highest number of students like to study biology this one is a conclusion am i right have you understood okay let's move now let's see the marking criteria in the gc all over paper this is the question number 14 you can get three marks for content three marks for language two marks for organization two marks for mechanics of writing altogether you can get 10 marks the question number 14 the GEC all level English language paper how do you score the marks in content all points included you can get three marks most of the points included you can get two marks only a few points included you can get one mark question copied totally irrelevant you can get zero marks how to score marks in language almost no errors well connected sentences good range of vocabulary you can get three marks some errors 
well connected sentences, good range of vocabulary, you can get two marks. Only a few sentences correct, you can get one mark. All the sentences are incorrect, you can get zero mark. Organization, well organized ideas, connected meaningful paragraph, you can get two marks. Ideas not well connected, you can get one marks. No organization at all, you can get zero marks. How to score marks in mechanics of writing? No spelling errors, correct punctuation, you can get two marks. Handwriting clear, but errors in spelling and punctuation, you can get one mark. Unintelligible writing, you can get zero marks. Unintelligible means impossible to understand. Let's see the question. Study the chart and complete the description. The bar graph shows the choice of the subjects of grade 11 students in a school. The vertical axis shows the, the vertical axis shows the number of students. number of students. The horizontal axis shows, this one is a horizontal axis shows the choice of the subjects. The most of the students like to study, the most students like to study what is the subject? Biology. While the least of the students like to study music. Equal number of students like to study. Can you tell the answer? Equal number of students like to study. Look at the chart and tell the answer. ICT and accounting. The number of students who like to study biology than the number of students who like to study art. When we compare the two things, when we, the two things, biology and art. When we compare the two things, two subjects, when compare the biology and art, which is higher? Biology. You can use more or higher. The number of students who like to study music is music and ICT. When we compare the music and ICT, when we compare less, less than ICT. According to the bar chart, bar graph, we come to the conclusion the highest number of students like to study. Can you tell the answer? Who can tell the answer? According to the bar graph, we come to the conclusion the highest number of students like to study biology. Thank you.